What's up, everybody? Clever Dean back, coming back to you today with another Genshin Impact reaction. Today, we are going to be reacting to Collected Miscellany, Albedo Creed Prince. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not, but that's how I'm pronouncing it, so we're just going to go with it. But let's get into it. The city of Pastorals, Mondstadt, is nice free shot as of Mondstadt. Wind. Even an outsider like Albedo can become chief alchemist of the Knights of Favonius. But on the other hand, his mastery of alchemy means that no one ever would have He's taken He's such a cool character, persuade. man. I really do like his character a whole lot. Mondstadt was never a nation known for its alchemy. But since Albedo's arrival, the Knights' achievements in the field sit only behind those of Sumeru's top scholars. Knights and academics. Not two words that one would expect to Motherfuckers hear. Motherfucker's got an iPad. Sentence. What? His abilities are so nuts. Instead of leading the charge in combat, the calm and collected Albedo is better suited to providing support with reliable geo Place that solar isotoma a little too Still, close to the boss. That was risky. To deal powerful attacks, meaning he more than holds his own on the battlefield. Seriously, his Creation solar isotoma is, is so alchemy. broken. Albedo's knowledge allows him to find ways to improve crafting recipes and make better use of materials. When crafting weapon ascension materials, he has a chance of doubling the crafting output. Doubling the crafting output is amazing. Albedo's I love getting extra. Up to five strikes with his sword. Holding the attack button consumes a certain amount of His stamina, attacks are pretty quick too. Like I was I was really surprised slashes. with how he feels to play. Like it feel, he feels Tap wonderful. His elemental skill to create a solar isotoma using alchemy, dealing area of effect geo damage. This uh, by far is, is his best ability. Isotoma. Periodically when an enemy within the field it takes damage, a transient blossom is generated at the enemy's location. Like max Max out his E scales off Albedo's defense, ASAP, dealing AOE because holy to crap. Enemies. A transient blossom can only be generated once every two seconds. Additionally, making contact with the solar isotoma causes geo energy to accumulate. Everybody's been saying Forming he's a, a geo official. I kind of agree. Character up to um, a certain height. Only one platform can exist at a time. But official, like to me, official for my play style anyway. Platform lets you employ plunging attacks in battle. And helps you is a little too um when adventuring hold albedo's i don't know it's a little too different to for me solar isotoma's position and in terms of like platform to get past environmental obstacles more quickly fish just After doesn't the fish just doesn't mesh well light, because she's ranged blossoms deal extra damage like albedo like if you're if health. you use a lot of melee characters like he he helps synergize that to keep you in the fight and not only Geo protected, but doing more damage. Albedo's like, it's command, nuts. Dealing AOE Geo damage in front of Albedo. If Albedo's solar isotoma is still present on the battlefield, seven fatal blossoms are generated in the solar isotoma field. His Q is nice, too. Dealing AOE Geo damage. <laughs> it's definitely not After bad. After unlocking the talent Homuncular Nature, Albedo's elemental burst increases nearby party members' elemental mastery for a period of time. Albedo's skill set is a rare and invaluable asset in combat. Creative use of the solar isotoma greatly it's diversifies so the battle, broken. paving the party's way to certain victory. In a good way, when the like battle begins, create a solar isotoma with Albedo's elemental He clicked skill, with me as he and like fish really never did click for me, but like the solar isotoma field. Albedo man, he's so good. And deal damage to enemies while generating crystalline shields through elemental reactions. Solar Isotoma also enables party members to unleash plunging attacks. When energy is full, have Albedo unleash an elemental burst. I know everybody was a little bit on the fence about the Solar Isotoma elevator master. mechanic, like going like when it was first announced. But honestly, the thing's awesome. Like I love having it. It is so helpful to reach higher places. No one can dispute Albedo's talent. There's so many things. But the source of the knowledge he possesses. It once brought about the destruction of a glorious nation. All that most people know of him is his title, Crida Prince, and that he gained Crida his position Prince. in the Knights on recommendation from Alice the Adventurer. Beyond this, the young man is a stranger to them. 
a complete mystery, and the essence of his knowledge is equally unknown. But I know it well. It hails from Kanrea, the art of Chemia. Soil and chalk, the universe and earth, pure dust and the birth of human life. There is no mistaking it. I feel like I he is the most, watch most deep character from the sidelines. in Mysterious character that we've had. To make a single wrong move, I could not let myself ignore it. I want to know who was voicing, who who was telling the story here, because it sounds interesting, but I don't know whose voice that is. Off the top of my head, like it just doesn't, uh, it doesn't click for me. Albedo's kit is honestly in my opinion one of the best characters we've seen so far in terms in my opinion because he synergizes so well with how i like to play genshin impact i like to get in there get in the fight and stay in the fight like i don't want to i don't want to get out i don't want to have to reset all that sort of stuff and albedo definitely keeps me in the fight currently i'm running with razor zongli and chi chi uh this for me has been a big go-to um, it does, it, the, the group comp does require me to swap out Chi Chi for Bennett from time to time, uh, just because of elemental reactions and that sort of things and being able to break shields of characters and that stuff. But other than that, like it is, it's a really good comp that I've been using and finding a lot of success with, especially throughout Dragon Spine. Again, his kit is just bananas. Solar Isotoma. Like my solar isotoma right now is hitting for like almost 10K. Now, granted that said, it was it was hitting for 10K uh, before I ended up C3ing him because I had him at C2 and I think C2 is really the sweet spot. Um, I rolled a little bit more just to, to see if I was gonna get someone off banner um, and potentially set myself up for Shao or if I got lucky to maybe get a Constellation 4 on him. Um, and I don't think I'm willing to go for the Constellation 4 now, but like Constellation 3 is um, like, it's it makes his Solar Isotoma so much more powerful because now it's like he, 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 he can literally carry if I needed him to, um, but I don't need him to. Albedo's Solar Isotoma right now in my group hits almost as hard as my Razor does normal physical damage, which is amazing. Uh, it's like every time Razor hits now, it's double damage. Um, I don't ever foresee removing these two from each other. Um, I do want to test him out with Shao though. Once Shao comes out, we will be going for Shao. Um, I don't think we're going to go anything beyond Constellation 1 on Shao. Um, we may try to go for Constellation 1 on Shao, just, just to get that extra dash. But that said, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have been enjoying Dragon Spine. I hope you guys have been enjoying, the, um, enjoying Albedo specifically in his gameplay. I know I have. There's been so much Genshin Impact news and stuff coming out. Uh, it's kind of crazy. Uh, I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading for the past two weeks, but I was on family vacation. Uh, I was home enjoying time in Virginia, so uh, I appreciate uh, you guys for sticking around and hanging in here with me while uh, I got to, you know, take a little bit of time off, which has been nice. Um, but we're it's, it's 2021, guys. We're gonna get back into this. I'm excited for what this new year holds. Uh, remember, I stream on Twitch now every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 5 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please get over there, get in chat with me. Um, engage with me. I would love to see you. I would love to chat with you. Um, also, uh, don't forget about our Discord. Uh, get in there. The community's really been growing, and uh, I would like to, you know, interact with you guys there as well. But remember, guys, be excellent to each other, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.